What is the three-body problem and is it really unsolvable? The th three-body problem is a physics conundrum that has boggled scientists since Isaac Newton's day. But what is it and why is it so hard to solve? And is the science fiction series of the same name really possible? You'll find it on Netflix. A rocket launch or nearest satellite neighbor, a Netflix show, all of these things have something in common. They must contend with the three-body problem, quote-unquote, but exactly what is this thorny physics conundrum? The three-body problem describes a system containing three bodies that exert gravitational forces one on one another, and while it may sound simple, it's a notoriously tricky problem and the first real worry of Newton. Billy uh, Quarles, a planetary dynamic dynamicist at Valdosta State University in Georgia, said, in a system of only two bodies, like a planet and a star, calculating how they'll move around each other is fairly straightforward. Most of the time, those two objects will orbit roughly in a circle around the center of mass, and they'll come back to where they started each time. But add a third body, like another star, and things get a lot more complicated. The third body attracts the two orbiting each other, pulling them out of their predictable paths. The motion of the three body depends on the starting state, their positions, velocities, masses. If even one of those variables changes, the resulting motion could be completely different. And I think, he says, one of it, of it is if you're walking on a mountain ridge, Shane Ross said, an applied mathematician at Virginia Tech, with one small change, you could either fall to the right or you could fall to the left. Those are two very close initial positions and they could lead to very different states. There aren't enough constraints on the motions of the bodies to solve the three-body problem with equations, Ross said. But some solutions in the, to the three-body problem have been found. For example, if the starting conditions are just right, three bodies of equal mass could chase one another in a figure eight pattern. Such tidy solutions are the exception, however, when it comes to real systems in space. Certain conditions can make the three-body problem easier to parse. Consider Tatooine, Luke Skywalker's fictional home from a uh, world from Star Wars, a single planet orbiting two, star, two suns. And those two su stars and the planet make up a three-body system. But if a planet is far enough away and orbiting both stars together, it's possible to simplify the problem. When it's the tattooing case, as long as you're far enough away from the central boundary, then you think of this object as just being a really fat, fat star. Coral said, the planet does not exert much force on the stars because it's so much less massive. So the system becomes similar to, or more, to the more easily solvable two-body problem. So far, scientists have found more than a dozen tattooing-like exoplanets, Coral said. But often, the orbits of the three bodies never truly stabilize, and the three-body problem gets solved with a bang. In other words, they crash into each other. The gravitational forces could cause two of the three bodies to collide, or they could fling one of the bodies out of the system forever, a possible source of rogue planets that don't orbit any star, Carl said. In fact, three-body chaos may be so common in space that scientists estimate there may be 20 times as many rogue planets as there are stars in our galaxies. When all else fails, scientists can use computers to approximate the motions of bodies in an individual three-body system. That makes it possible to predict the motion of a rocket launched into orbit around Earth or to predict the fate of a planet in a system with multiple stars. With all this tumult, you might wonder if anything could survive on a planet like the one featured in Netflix Free Body Problem, which, spoiler alert, is trapped in a chaotic orbit around three stars in the Alpha Centauri system, our solar system's nearest neighbor. I don't think in that type of a situation that's a stable environment for life to evolve, Ross said. That's one aspect of the show that remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. This is by Skylar Ware on Live Science. I think there's a sequel coming out. It's not finished. There's going to be another uh, second season of that. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. My 
Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.